all right uh, welcome everyone so welcome back to another video so today we're going to talk about how can you go about using certificate based authentication with microsoft graph powershell sdk so right now uh, if you use the powershell directly using the connect mg graph command uh, it will use powershell service principle uh, and um, it will go on adding permissions uh, as you go on uh, using the powershell sdk so uh, as the time goes down uh, in the long run it becomes cumbersome to you know uh, handle and manage those permission so the uh, most uh, this could be the most serious issue uh, uh, if your permission uh, you know keeps on acclimating over the time uh, the service principle used for sdk can become over permission so that is a kind of risk okay so the solution to uh, this is to use a separate registered app on azure ad uh, with the consent just enough uh, just uh, with with just enough permission to get the job done now this creates management challenges uh, which is understandable but it is more secure okay so the mo okay all right so first thing first uh, what i'll do is i'll uh, create an app on azure ad uh, I'll go to Azure Active Directory. Okay, and uh, click on App Registration and New. So I'll be registering an app. So sample PowerShell IDK. So this is just the name that I'll be giving. Uh, register. Okay, so once we have that. will move ahead and create a certificate so once we have the certificate we will upload the certificate over here and use client credential flow uh, to get the JWT token uh, which is jwt token and then authenticate microsoft graph okay so once we have created the app uh, i have a sample script over here so i'll be using this sample script uh, to you know create a self-signed certificate so first the second thing what you need is a certificate so you probably don't have uh, x509 so this is the certificate that we need uh, so you probably don't have this certificate hanging around waiting to be used uh, uh, but there's an easy way to create uh, create the certificate with the powershell i already have this commands listed over here this this code example runs the new self-signed certificate commandlet to create a new certificates uh, which is stored in uh, the path which you will specify over here okay now uh, what i'll do is um, i'll just replace the lines over here i'll uh, i'll have to create a folder uh, i'll create a new folder over here new folder so Certificates, okay, and I'll create another folder ABC in there. ABC, okay. So I'll just copy the path over here and paste it over here. Okay. Uh, so file path is done. So this is done, and expiration years I'm setting to one subject name uh, so subject name i'll be giving is my subject cert okay you can give it as you want certificate password so i'll be keeping the certificate password okay i missed that single quotes over here so let me put this in single quote okay uh, certificate password i'll be keeping it simple uh, it should be one two three okay so prefix file name is pfx and certificate file name should have sort as an uh, extension so this are a few variables that i've already created and i'll be using it as a file name okay uh, then i have certificate begin date uh, which is getting the current date uh, which would be today's date of course uh, then we have certificate expiry date so now um, 
the expiry date would be one year from today so i have specified one over here so same variable would be using here all right so once we have that this particular command which is new self sign certificate will create uh, the entry okay uh, will create the certificate on a specified directory okay let me just copy this whole script and uh, paste it in my powershell so once i paste this here uh, the certificate would be generated and uh, do not worry about the powershell script i'll be pasting the entire script into the description below all right uh, so the our script is running uh, hopefully it will uh, end up without any errors okay it is still executing mm -hmm. all right looks good so far so good okay so uh looks like our certificate has been exported and there you go so our certificate is over here okay so what i'll do is now i'll have to move to the azure app that i've created uh, i need to go to the certificate and secret section i'll need to click on upload uh, select the file it has to be certificate uh, so certificates yep certificates folder and this is the cert file all right i'll give a quick description my cert i'll click on add and there you go my certificate has been added so once this is done uh, now all i need is the graph commandlet command to you know connect the graph okay so this is the command that i'll be using to connect to microsoft graph powershell sdk using and restricting the powershell sdk to this specific app registration only so first thing first what i'll need is the app id so i'll click on this uh, i'll put it in double quotes i have pasted over here and then i also need the tenant id yeah uh, I'll also paste this command in the description below so you can just copy paste it uh, and get started and then I'll also need the thumbprint so you can also use a certificate name okay so this part I'm not using you can also use certificate subject as well uh, in order to do this okay but uh, in my case I'll be just using certificate thumbprint so now that we have this here let clears this and paste it it should give us connected to welcome uh, connect and welcome message from microsoft graph and there you go we have successfully connected uh, to microsoft graph using the client credentials flow uh, using the certificate okay so remember the app holds the permission we want to use the graph queries if we need to add required graph api permission to the app the exact permission the exact permission vary according to the you know date uh, data the app wants to access you can experiment uh, running the code in interactive session to figure out the right set of permission and then uh, add them to the app uh, you can add the permission in the API permission section okay now uh, whatever you run with, with within the context of this app so it would belong to the permission that you have over here and that would be the client credential uh, application permission okay all right so that's all for today's video uh, if you have any questions or uh, queries please drop them in the comment section below and uh, I'll be happy to help you Apart from that, uh, if you want another video on uh, how can we use uh, Postman to, you know, use the certificate thumbprint, because in Postman we do not have an option to uh, connect with, with 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 the certificate that we have just uploaded. Uh, using the Postman, you can do it through the client secret, right? So if you want that video, just 
let me know in the comment section below and uh, oh until next time see you guys thank you bye bye